Yeah, how's the gears kind of do with that? I mean, working with the gears, I don't know why I would kind of short circuit things. Not really short circuit, but just to, you know, peak the audio somewhat. We're going over some bumps. This person definitely has room to pass me. Yeah, well, I'll just turn right. Or, we'll just turn left. Right here. Because why not? Yesterday I tested out the wind. It didn't seem to pick up much of it and it hurt myself quite easily. Even the bike was at better sound quality. So I am most definitely happy. Car coming off my left. <clears throat> Let's give this guy some room. If he wants to go, I guess he could. I guess the sound quality is probably better though. I hope you can actually hear me, it is. I can barely hear my own self. There we go. Need to go turn here. So it seems like the uh, the GoPro has not been affected by these bumps. I've been tightening it up really good every single time. The little attachment things haven't even broke either, which is I'm definitely happy about. Oh yeah, all good and good. From what I can see, it's a nice day today. Let's see, here we are. Let this guy go. Let's keep going straight. I'll probably go towards the, uh, the farmland. Farmland, I don't know what we call it. More just stray trees or something. We're just going to turn onto the uh, the bike path at this next traffic light. Hmm. Going to turn left here. No cars behind me. Green light here to see if I can make it. All right. We're just gonna follow this all the way down. Last time, this is where I kind of got the most little shirt. Uh, something's, you know, static. 
Maybe it's because it was just moving. But we can't have that. We gotta figure out how to stop that. It's a nice day today. Oop, recess today. The early life of the little kid. Now I'll go to this place. The place is similar. So much energy. I hate to be a negative person, but it's just like I see all that energy and it's just like, where's it all gonna go? When they have to deal with the bricks of life. Though it helps to keep some positivity in light of so much negativity. Part of me is always saying negative, part of me is always going positive. Maybe more so negative. But I don't like to show that sort of thing on the camera. Not that often, of course. I think I discussed this on a live stream once. Why is this guy so chill? <laughs> Whenever somebody's listening, I would hope to always present a positive message on each one. Though I always do want to be honest. So yeah, let's keep on riding. Wait for this person. He's going right too. <sighs> that park over there has some, I don't know if it's like uh, the sewage water goes right by it, but it stinks. It stinks bad. I don't mind it though. The swings are kind of cool. I usually only go up there if I want to just relax. Hardly ever go on the swings since I'm older. I remember being on the swings a lot when I was younger. It definitely is a relaxing, a relaxing experience when you can just let go and just enjoy the feeling, I guess. I'm curious how the GoPro will be able to handle rain. This is the skeleton case, not a waterproof case. I'm able to put in a audio equipment into this. So it's not waterproof, but everything else except the side panel for all that kind of stuff is waterproof. So yeah, I think I'd be able to handle it. I know as a bit of a mod on my part, I put some, uh, some tape over it. Some tough tape hasn't gone away. Might have been, it's, it's that clear tape that is pretty tough. Whatever it is, it has stayed there for at least two weeks or so, maybe something like that. That should be able to help against the rain. So basically everything except the external mic audio jack or whatever you want to call it, that, the charging jack as well. That's, that is the only one that is, that doesn't have the tape there. And, uh, and it's always gonna have a audio device plugged into it. So I think there's a very small chance water could actually get into the actual thing, but I haven't tried it yet. 
It would be up to me if I wanted to do it or not, but we'll see. Just curious on my part. Yeah. <clears throat> Take a little break here. Oh. Not in a hurry or anything. Why does it just go down a gear? For some reason, the uh, the microphone seems to kind of get a little bit shorted out with the. Whenever I change gears, maybe it's the high pitch sound or something. I don't know. Yeah, like I said, I'm in no hurry. I don't even know what kind of miles per hour I'm running. This is what I use to uh, to show off my, you know, miles per hour. It's currently off because uh, I think I drained its batteries and it's just not functioning. I might need to go and buy a pack of new ones. But the thing is, I replaced the battery and it only went out in like a month. Is that all it takes? I thought it was going to be able to go for months and months and months. Then again, it is always on. Always meaning I go biking every day, so usually like two hours to an hour a day. Well, in the case of these rides, probably like 50, no, no, not 50, about 30 minutes, 45. So I used, I know before I brought the GoPro around, I would always do longer rides in like outside of town. I'm sure the GoPro can handle that sort of time. It says I can only handle about an hour and 20. So it usually would take me about two hours, you know, going out of the town to the nearby one and then coming back. Cyclist. Little wave. I don't know what he was doing with his fingers. I don't know if you saw that. Get back in school. That's what I thought about it. It's nice out here. I wouldn't blame him for being out here. It's nice. Good and good. Oh, look at that water on the left. I don't know if you can tell, but it's pink. Magenta. Purple. From a certain angle. This is a great place. I just like to go out sometimes and sit around. Maybe lay around. Of course, when there's no ants around here. You know, like right here, where I'm looking where the camera is facing right now, that little side right over there. Right here. Nice little place to kind of go sit around. Just past it. It's the only place where there really isn't a lot of uh, stinky air, if, if at all. It's just one of those little places. I would, there are trails that go through here and back to kind of where I live. I haven't chosen to go on them mainly because I don't, I'm just looking on the sides of this, all those little puncture vines are right over there. What do they call them? Wheat plants? I don't know. But they're, they have stickers on them, which is just really, really bad. They're like daggers for tires. I'm hoping when it, you know, starts raining winter, or if it starts raining here, since we're on massive drought, but a lot of this goes away. That would be awesome. <clears throat> hmm. That would be cool. That would be. I've only really been cycling for, or I started cycling close to every single day, about three months ago that was when I started watching the, the youtubers biking vids and never went back very exciting very fun it's almost an exception an, an obsession to come out here I always wanted to just get out of the house for a little bit 
Learning the rules of the road only made it so much more fun. I can go anywhere, well, except the freeway. I don't know, I just enjoy it. Can't not come out here now. I think the last time I actually brought you guys out here was one of my first, my first video with a Pasley Pro Cycling ride. It's been a little while. Now you can actually hear me for once. All good. What is that, a revelation? Probably not. I don't know if this will go on YouTube. I was mainly doing this for a test, if anything to kind of go see how the sound quality is for this microphone. I tested it out yesterday, but at some points throughout the ride, I did get some static sound. I don't know if that was just because it was rubbing up against my shirt or whatever. I don't know if you saw the little, little bird on my left. He was in that little circular thing. Wonder if he can actually get down there. Or if not, well, he is, but you know. Yeah, if you see that uh, trail on my, on my right right there, Trails all throughout here. Definitely good for bikes. Unfortunately, it's hugely full of these sticker things. Definitely not great when you have to replace both your tubes. And I only have one tube left since I did replace that, that other tube. To be honest, I actually have two tubes. I remember when I took that tube out of the bike and replaced it, I was able to patch the other one. Like you did, you guys did see that on my, uh, I think it was like two rides back or something. A little time lapse of me fixing that, that tube, you know, replacing it. I was able to patch that other one that I took out because there was only one little hole, amazingly. So I was able to salvage it. Now it has a patch on it. And when, uh, when I run out of, you know, the patch in my backpack currently for a biking tube, I'll be able to use that. So effectively, I gave it back a life. It'd be awesome if I only got, you know, two or one you know, little holes in the tube instead of like six. I was letting a bus go by once and went, went to go pull over to the side so it would go by. Both my tires got absolutely annihilated by puncture vines, little stickers. It was terrible. I had like six in each. I don't think I was able to ride for like two or three days. That isn't a lot. I think I, I throughout that time I was able to, you know, have my uh, my other bike fixed, that black one that you might have seen next to where I was, you know, fixing the tire in that one vid. Eh. That black bike had some major back tire rubbing, so it made it pretty impossible to ride. I had to uh, ride on that for like six years or so. I don't know throughout that when the back tire rubbing happened, though I did crash that bike a lot, mainly because I rode on the sidewalks. But anyways, now that that's fixed, it's a great backup bike, if anything, if I lose this one. Hopefully I don't, you know, don't want to lose everything. But at the very least, I have a backup bike. I could even use it in the rain if I want to. We'll see. I'm sort of just taking it easy. I think what I'm gonna do is turn left on the, on that street. I don't know if that's a street, if you can see right on my left, I'm gonna, nah, I don't think so. I'm gonna turn left on one of these and get past most of the bumpy road. This road's horrible. It has trucks going on it all the time.
Bumps are horrible. <laughs> and yet it doesn't seem like the GoPro is deterred. Oh yeah. Let's go right here instead. This will basically take us around the, uh, the overpass area that I usually get onto. We'll be able to come at it from a different angle. If anything, I'm curious how the, uh, the sound, how this microphone is holding up. Only tested it once. Seemed good on sound quality. Just sometimes it would have that static noise. I'm going over some bumps right now. I don't think it's moving around too much, but if it only really has that static when, when it hits my, uh, when it hits my shirt, you know, when it rubs my shirt, that might be a downfall then. But I'll have to work around that, see what other people think about it. But if I can just figure out where it's coming from, that would make me feel better. And there's a truck right behind me. I'll see what, it, what I can do with him. I'll just follow this little thing right here. Not there anymore. There is a little path that goes up there on my left. We just passed it. I don't usually take it anymore. It looks like it has lots of puncture vine plants around it. Let's turn left here. We just looped right around, so we're gonna move on to that overpass. Move on up. Let me take a drink first. Uh. Okay, let's move on up. Let's see, how are we gonna do this? Good to go, let's make our way up. I like taking this little path. Sometimes cars pass kind of close to me though. I guess I'm fine if they do that. They own the road anyway. I'm just here. I just, I just am here. So yeah. All right. Down in gear. <clears throat> no one behind me, so I'm taking my time. crazy just being able to cycle through this and see the freeway on your right. I would usually be on the left over there where that other cyclist person is. But there are a lot of holes, a lot of bumps, smaller. You got to worry about pedestrians. 
To be honest, he is carrying a child, so. Let's get on over. Yeah, you're gonna have to tell me if, uh, or I'll have to see if those, like whenever I switch gears, if it shorts, their, shorts things out. Maybe that's completely normal. I don't know. Whew. Either way, guys, thank you for coming along with me on this ride. I'm glad, I'm glad you guys enjoy. You know, a bunch of you have been saying that you've been enjoying these in the comments, and I'm happy to hear that. This is definitely quite new, since most most of the people that are subscribed to my channel are all Minecraft and stuff like that. So I'm glad you guys enjoy this. What is this? Some Movo. I think it's like a Movo's microphone or something. Either way. This is my test with it. Hopefully things go well. I'd love to be able to use this. Either way. Don't know if this is going on YouTube, but either ways, time for me to go. See you guys.